I'm going to go ahead and start my number 25 pick, which comes from Amazon Lily. It is Marguerite, our cute little blonde that saved Luffy. You know, I, I thought she kind of like, oh. liked, liked Luffy as well. I think she likes him, low key. When I was when I was working on the list, like I could picture her on my head. I wanted to add her, but I forgot the name. The Intel. Oh, they're down they're back to lady. back. Okay. Yeah, I just put the Intel down such a lady. I'm interested in hearing Sagrain's 22nd because this is gonna be my first controversial one. I have Young Tsuru. Are you talking about the um, Admiral, or are you talking about? Is yeah. Yeah, Kenya Kenya one's wife is also Otsuru. Also talking about a lovely gal, I just put my number 22nd into it. It's Vivi. I forgot about that old scam. Everyone loves Vivi, and it's one of those things where I feel a little bad. I, I am very sorry to all of the stands of Princess Vivi, but she never really was that individual who stood out for me um, as a teenager. I grew to understand her relevance and why she was important. And I get that. Ever since I was younger, she's never really risen as far as a, a, a top waifu, especially. She's more like class president. She's class like president. Me. Next one is a anime filler character. And I feel like she can only be here in the 21s. It is Lily the Glutton, the giant who could shrink sizes and she had green hair. She's from the filler arc where they had to save the giant. And then she goes inside Luffy and makes Luffy a giant. She makes Luffy giant Luffy, yes. Sagrain, so who is your number 21? What beautiful lass? Avida. <laughs> oh, you, you See, she dog. You. Good. Oh, okay. So you, I'm seeing some back-to-backs. Like you had Sadie Domino, now you have Carrot, Karen. Wanda. I mean, that's respectable. 17. Yoda, 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 yoda. Shiroro. Not shiroro. Yoda, yoda, yoda. It is Perona, Mihawk's waifu and baby girl. She would've been my number one. I totally forgot about her. Perona, oh, okay. the goth princess, big old personality on her. She is funny. She takes care of Zoro. She like, Hands them up. And she turns them into like, a doll. Traitor. Now I love to see Perona, Zoro, and Hiyori. I would love to see the, the dynamic between three, among the three of them. Well, Perona doesn't want Zoro in that aspect, though. She more just is like a sister to him. She was. Her and Zeke, Mihawk are the ones who are doing it. They were just eating cookies and like having tea. I'm like, come on now. That's a couple if I've ever seen Oh, uh, the bag. Mihawk has great taste. I have Shaki. My dude, this is hilarious because at 16, I've got Shocky. My dude, okay, this is that's amazing. My all right, Drew, you have the 16th now, and it is also Shocky. Yes, everyone is Shocky at 16. We're doing it because that cougar one is. Still hot. She has Rayleigh coming back. She knows he's off and doing his own thing and messing with these little twats and all of these little thoughts. Nah, she knows who he's coming home to. That, mm, shocky baby, shocky, oh, shocky, oh man. So top 15 now, and I'm gonna start it off with Boa Hancock. Not top 10, um, again, Wow. We were talking about this earlier, but when I first met Boa, it was it was kind of a binge, but it really wasn't. So I only got her as an asshole. And then I didn't really get to fall in love with her and like Marine Ford and all of that until like a year later. So I still had to sit on her kicking puppies and kittens and baby seals. At that point, I was more turned on by someone else in that arc. So Boa is kind of second fiddle for me in Amazon. Who was that someone else? You'll see oh, later on. You'll, you'll see later on. I, I, I think this is more controversial than the VV one. Oh, you think so? Number yep. 11, our girl from day one. Back in Luffy's hometown, she is now Shanks' other baby mama. Hey. It is Makino. Makino, I've adored Makino for years. She is the ultimate about girl Makino. next door. Makino is the ultimate girl next door. Oh, we are in the top 10. Oh, we oh. flew through this. Okay, let's start arguing as full grown men over a fictional character. Rebecca. Yeah, gladiator outfit. We love that. Great pink hair. Love that. Love the body. Uh, I like the dress. I, I like the yellow dress more than the gladiator. The I yellow dress when um, Luffy kidnapped yeah. her. Oh, 
Yep, yep, yeah. Uh, all the people are the That's just going to be the saying from now on. Any basic <laughs> chick, any chick that's below basic is now Mormon. So it goes basic, <laughs> Mormon, Amish. Yeah. My number nine, especially both her normal version and the smoker heart version, is Tashi. Oh. Oh, yeah, with that. The smoker's Tashi. That's a good look as well. Because I have two different, I have like the cute version, and then I have like the Bello Betty, like half shirt open, cigar, glasses are on top of the head. Just like, that's a dope look for Tashigi. And then she goes back to being like, mm. She's also like incredibly smart. I absolutely love that about her. She's a nerd about swords and she's just generally a good person. And the fact that one of my top five wives who looked at her so lovingly when she passed the children over to her, as someone whose mom was in the military, Tashigi definitely um, hits that book. But, so I have a soft spot. Like and she not, vibes with Zoro. She vibes with Zoro. Oh no, now Zoro has two waifus that are gonna fight over him. What's gonna happen between Hiori when Hiori finds out about Tashigi? Oh, and Tashigi finds out about Hiori. I don't think Tashigi would care, I think Hiori would care. My number night, Vivi. Eight is Viola. We've got Four three back to back Rebecca, now. Vivi, Viola. Yeah. I have Shira, number 10, Shira Rebecca, Hoshi. number 9. You have all the princesses, actually. Sure, Hoshi, oh, yeah. Rebecca, Vivi, Violet. And technically, possibly Bonnie. Let me get my number eight out of the way then. Oh, this is where it gets fun. Cause it is Boa Sandersonia. Wait, what? I have, yeah, the the tall green haired, uh, the middle sister. I have had a thing for <laughs> Sandersonia since 2009. Just something about her when I was 20, 21, is just like, all right, she's hot. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the moment you've yeah. all been waiting for, we're about to go into our <laughs> final part of the stream, yeah. but more importantly, Samurai Ju joins the fight. He will be the final mm -hmm. of this number mm -hmm. seven quadrant of the Toby Ropo and baby girl ulti. This is the controversial one. Ooh. I have big mom, but wait, wait. Young big prime. Mom. I'm I'm there putting prime, go. big mom. Yeah. Okay. So without further ado, Samurai Drew, who is your okay. number seven? Number seven is a waifu that is Wafu. Waifu. It's Wafu's wife. Her name is Kinderella. She's got a little dark. Uh, you know, she's got a little gothic going on. She's wearing like this uh, dark kind of outfit with like little fat wings. I think she's cool. Do you not think that she's like a total 10? Not there, I, she's not near in my, she's not, I wouldn't even put her in my top 25, so no, th no thank you. I respect your decision to be as weird as mine. What about your number six? Yep. Koala. I love Koala. There we Kuala. go. There she, we go. She's like totally into Savo. She's a little cutie. She seems short. She has um, Fishman Karate. Koala, the girl next door. Perfect. She is a girl. She is a girl next door. I would prefer Tashigi uh, as mine or Makino. Um, but mm -hmm. yeah, Koala. Nothing. I, I love how she gets along with Robin. That's the, one of the more adorable things. Sagrain. Mm -hmm. Yep. Number six. My number six, Hiori. Hiori is very. I think she's very really sexy. In fact, I, I put her in my top ten somewhere, but. Um, I, I, I really like Hiyori, so I'm, I'm with it. She's, uh, Would you want her at your number eight, Drew? Yes. The boy might get a top ten after all. Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> at number six for me is Bello Betty. For the top five one waifus of the Runaway Warriors. I will be starting it off. At my number five, she may be an ogre, but she is the oh. ogre princess. Oh, he forgot about Yamato. Oh. Yamato is my top five. It was, I had, y'all, my number four, my top four was like, just good, solid. But five, six, good. seven, I spent three days having to dis discuss with myself. Yamato, so we, oh, we, do we have an alteration? Do we have, do we have a correction? Five. We have a correction? We have the the same number five we have the same number five at yamato yep let's so get that's it you. <laughs> that's you uh put her uh put her on the list for me would you? what number nine yes so we've got shaki and yamato 
Yamato's top five for me, and Sagrain. Samurai Drew, unfortunately, she's not here top five. Unless you want to change it? It's too complicated, but she wouldn't be higher up, but we'll keep her right where she is. Okay, okay. <laughs> Samurai Drew, uh, who is your number five? Nami from Stronghold. Wait. Are you, do you have different versions of Nami in your No, okay. no, I'm just saying, but specifically Nami from okay. Stronghold. Because I just watched uh, that movie, and she is so good at movie. Is that, she that's the one so where her and Robert are doing the volleyball scene in the very beginning, right? I think so, yeah, where they're all like bouncing and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Iconic. Absolutely she has iconic. four or five different outfit changes in that movie, which is so funny. Now we're going to go into number four. Samurai Drew, Ooh. go ahead and start us off on that. Okay, so any Boa Hancock. I mean, I, I made a whole edit out of her. I think she is just the. I mean, she's she's the best looking, you know, woman in One Piece. So if we're just going by looks alone, Boa wins. What about you, Sagrin? Who is your number? Nani. There is no way she can't be anywhere lower than four. I completely agree because Nani is also my number four. Oh, Samurai Drew, I've been left out. Well, he's one off, he, and he, I don't think he's going to switch Boa and Nami. But at the same time, Nami has been my... Is, I didn't trust her, but she was always the cute one when back in 2006, 2005, God, when I first started. Overall, Nami has been, for me, in many cases, the heart and soul of One Piece. Now, Did you a add lot, another one to my top ten? Go ahead. Um, this will be actually no, 10 for you. This will be 10 for you. No, Jico. You no, guys Jico. are going to be surprised because Reiju is my number three. Oh, I, yeah, you're a Reiju. You've talked about Reiju so much. When we first found out that Sanji was part of a family, what does a sister look like? And I'm just imagining blonde, like not cute and all of this stuff. And then when we got her design and it was pink hair, it's like, okay. And she comes up squeaking. And he chives down and then sucks the poison on Luffy, and then the lick. <laughs> I did not stand a chance. The 66 on the leg. Oh boy, boys. I'm a leg guy. They're giants on this list. I'm a leg guy. Yes, we know this is obvious. My number three is Boa Hancock. She's a very, like, she's a very, just a very overall strong woman. And, and, and also she, she's the best looking woman in, in One Piece. I mean, I have arguments about that, but okay. Samurai Drew, yeah. you're number yeah. three. Is that be Perona? Wait, what? Perona what? is number three for Samurai Drew. Oh, man! I thought she was your number one. I, I thought she was going to be his number one, too. Team you're for not the goth chicks like me. You like, a girl. You, like, you like sports girls or something. I do. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> Even though Reiji was covered in tattoos, and she's not a goth oh, chick. She's true. more of a punk chick. Like Who's your number two, Samurai Drew? Mm -hmm. Robin. So like, like don't, don't even put her in the same league. Like number one for me is eleven. Robin is a ten. Okay, she's I'm very interested in your number. My top two, I've got uh, Robin number two, just like Samurai oh. Drew. Oh. And then I've got Baby Girl Ray Drew, number one. My dude, <laughs> I knew you were a man of culture. I knew you were a man of culture. You are one of the smartest yeah. people on this stream. Second. That number one is just unbeatable. Is non negotiable. And then looking at the stream, um, Mucho Dinero has Rebecca, Shirahoshi, Yamato, Vivi, and Nami's mom, which is Bel Mare. Bel Mare is Yami's mom. My number two is Nojiko. The tattoos, wow. her being such a good big sister, um, be, been holding it down this entire time, making sure that no one's do, doing bad by her sister, making sure that everyone knows, hey, Nami's doing this for us. Chill, don't say anything. I'm gonna go with my number one. It's Robin. It's Robin. It's Robin. <laughs> That's good because I completely forgot about Rouge. I completely got <laughs> forgot about poor Custy Rouge. Yeah, Ace's mom. Oh, right. Yeah. Whoever is nailing the King of the Pirates has gotta be right. a bad. I'm sorry. You gotta be bad. Gotta be bad. Rouge would probably be my number eight. Rouge. Poor Gus. And she is, she's the first female with the in her name. I think she's the oh, only right. one, actually. I can't think of one. Do you think Roger gave her the D? <laughs> but I'm bumped. My number one waifu is <laughs> Portia from the Foxy Pirate.
There is no way that is your number one wife. I love her name. Um, she's a really dorky, cute girl. She no got a great way. This dude, this man, put the chick who was obsessed with Chopper during the Foxy Pirates and was riding on the gorilla and sabotaging us, sabotaging us during our race over Robin, Nami, and Yamata. So for Samurai Drew, at 16, he has Shaki. At 15, he has Dadan. His top 10 is Nojiko, Yamato, Hiori, Kinderella, Koala, Nami, Boa, Perona, Robin, and Portia. Sagrains is Rebecca, Vivi, Violet, Prime, Big Mom, Hiori, Yamato, Nami, Hancock, Robin, and Reiju. Smart man. Whereas my top 10 will be Toshigi at 10, Sandersonia at 9, Porkasti Rouge at 8, Ulti, Bello Betty, Yamato, Nami, Reiju, Mojiko, and Robin. 